guys, it's Jani Eubank. I'm back with another scrapbook process video and today I'm working on some photos of my son feeding some baby birds. I have three photos. Uh, the main photo there is my son feeding the birds in the bottom of this big green bucket and then the other two photos are the baby birds on the left and then the mother bird on the bottom. And what happened was my son was walking down the street with his friend and found these three little baby birds all by themselves in the gutter. So he looked around, he couldn't find the mom, he couldn't, you know, he waited for a little while and she didn't come around. And so he decided to carefully scoop them up into this green bucket and bring them home. Uh, our neighbors have lots of cats and he was afraid that they would get to the birds and and eat them so <laughs> he decided to do a little bird sitting for the weekend and feed them and see if the mother would show up and in fact she did she's in that bottom photo and she started to bring them food so at that point he made a little nest for them in our tree close by and carefully put them up there and she kept feeding them for the next week or so until they learned how to fly it was actually really fun so Today for this page, I decided to start with a sheet of white cardstock, and then I pulled in some stamps that I recent or recently ordered from Stampin' Up, and they are some distressing stamps, and I just I just thought they would be really fun to build a background for this page of my son. So I started with a background stamp called Watercolor Wash. And now I'm pulling in another stamp set called Gorgeous Grunge. And this stamp set, set has um, a bunch of different ink splatters. So I'm just kind of layering them and turning them and trying to blend and build this splattery background for my photos to lay against. The um, I'm also working on a, a challenge, a design team challenge for the Noel Mignon design team blog. So the kit I'm working with is the November 2016 All Fall Kits and I'm using both the classic kit and the daily diary kit and pulling in elements from each of those. So our design team challenge was actually a recipe challenge and it was to use one sheet of cardstock, two alphabets, three photos, four patterned papers, and five embellishments. So my one cardstock is the background. My two alphabets will be showing up shortly. Then I have my three photos, of course. And then the four pattern papers I use are those three strips going across in the band. And then the fourth pattern I used to map my photos. I had initially wanted to build this page on the dark brown pattern paper that I used to mat the photos, but when I decided to use the leaf embellishments, I knew they would get lost on that dark brown. So I that's when I switched gears and decided to play with those background stamps and build my layout on this white sheet of cardstock. And once I decided that, this page actually came together really quickly. So here I'm just pulling in the two alphabet sticker sheets from the All Fall Classic Kit and I'm spelling out the title Feeding the Birds um, because I kept singing the Mary Poppins song Feed the Birds in my head <laughs> while creating this layout. So I thought, you know what, just run with it. Use Feeding the Birds as your title. So we have these kind of teal glittery letters for the word birds and then these, they're kind of a mustard yellow um, tile letter sticker from Ashley Horton for Pretty Little Studio. It's the Oakley Avenue collection. These chipboard leaves are so pretty, I love them. They're from the Daily Diary Kit and they're from the Warm and Cozy collection by Pebbles. Um, I'm kind of counting those five leaves as my five embellishments 
and then so I don't cheat anymore I'm using the dots the extra dots on the glitter sticker sheet as my kind of like enamel dots I'm just kind of scattering them here and there for a bit more sparkle a bit more embellishment I tuck this journaling card from the daily diary kit underneath the the photo of the birds and that's where I will add my journaling and then I do pull in some photo corners from my stash I just thought this um, the gold color would just help the photos pop a bit so I guess technically I did use more than five embellishments <laughs> but you won't tell anyone right <laughs> it works um, here I'm just writing out my journaling with pencil before I do it with the ink to make sure everything fits. And then I do go back in and add one more embellishment. I add a little wood embellishment to the bottom right corner of the bottom photo. Here I'm toying with adding in a strip of ribbon just to anchor things along the bottom and I go ahead and adhere it down but I actually changed my mind at the last second I think I was just really trying to stay true to the challenge so instead I pull out one of those gorgeous grunge stamp sets and just add a bit more stamping this one is more of a kind of a dry brush look like a scrape and I think it accomplishes the same thing of kind of giving a bottom line to the design, but it coordinates with the rest of the stamping really well. So that's it. It came together really fast and I'm happy with it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this page come together and thanks so much for coming by. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.